What's going on everybody? Joshua Manoe. I'm back with another video. I'm here with my man, me. We are right there behind the camera. The homie Pimp is right there holding the camera in. Right now, we got a little a la carte line of raw meat. This is straight up to the T carnivore. He just gave a little explanation, the homie right there. He's got everything laid out for me. I'm not gonna remember each and every one, but just to give you a general idea, we got liver, we got intestines, brain, testicle, kidney, bone marrow. I've never done anything like this before. I don't even know whether to be nervous, whether to be sketched out. I'm completely calm right now. I've uh, obviously, I've never tried this before and hopefully as I advance through the ranks, cause we got the worst, he said, this is the heftiest one on the back end. It's not the worst, but it has the strongest taste. So you know, like this is the least likely for somebody to like. Let's get rid of the, the nastiest first. All right. Then got a shitty taste. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely <laughs> back your end on that. Bro, honestly, you're not even getting half the taste because it's it's like, it's still like literally, you know, like still frozen. Still frozen on the inside. Still masked a little bit. Yeah, it's still masked a little on the inside. But uh, see how nasty it is. <laughs> There's one thing added to it. So if you eat it like fully thawed, it kind of smells a little like pee. To be honest, it tastes a little like pee. Like straight up dehydrated, <laughs> full yellow. Like straight up yellow tint piss. That's what it tastes like. But honestly, I've had worse. So I'm able to do this without flinching, without hesitating. This is lamb liver. Lamb liver. Let me let me give you one thing. Okay, that. sodium. Yeah. So this is a very famous dish in Lebanon. Okay. So we have we have like probably four or five raw appetizers and lamb liver is one of them. So they straight up eat this raw like, at restaurants. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can I can take you to a restaurant down down the street and they they have this. Oh, it's not too bad. Actually this is you, you can have another you can have another piece of you Fuck it, I don't know. I ain't I ain't no bitch, to be honest. This not is not too bad. Delicacy, bro. <laughs> this is gourmet carnival right here. <laughs> well, I'm never is the shit. Okay. And it's nice and chewy. It's cold. It's a little lubricated, so it's not dry. It goes down easy. What do you think of the aftertaste? A little funky. A little <laughs> funky. Okay. Just because I'm not used to this stuff. Okay. Now I'm gonna have you try the beef liver just so that you can see Woo! what the difference in the aftertaste Woo! is. After the second bite, bro, I'm like, ah, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so beef liver. This is a uh, cow liver. Yeah, this is cow liver. All right, say less. But bro, I, I love his reaction. You know, like like he's he's doing it. You know, he's he's all in with this shit. Yes. Gotta be, man. You see this? I'm, <laughs> I'm letting my whole mouth just like get a taste of all this. So that was the easiest by far. So that you, you think you think this is better than the lamb? I think this is better than the lamb. It, it, after tasting too bad, it's a, uh, what is the word? It's got like a, a little coat around it that, that like helped me chew it. The taste isn't bad at all. It barely even has a taste to be honest. Out of these two, it's out of these three. I mean, honestly, when you go, when you go to restaurants, they, they mostly, serve lamb because of the aftertaste because you know like it just it has a richer taste mm -hmm. but a lot is of that what they call it the richer yes it does have a richer the lamb has a little richer taste than uh, than the beef but uh, a lot of people prefer beef liver because it just when it's raw this is really good like yeah. i enjoy this a lot dude I, I have a feeling yeah it might taste a lot less satisfactory when it's cooked oh it tastes nasty when it's cooked yeah like if i'm gonna eat liver so if it, if, it, if it stays in the fridge for a couple of days or three days and I don't think it's safe anymore to be eaten raw, I'm not gonna throw it away. I'm gonna cook it. Oh, but, oh okay, okay. So I cook it and then I cut little pieces of raw butter with it. And then I literally eat it with butter. Just, just, just to mask the taste and make it like a juicier. Bro, that's crazy that you eat like this on a regular basis. You never cook this. Now we're gonna try a little heart. My games are transcending. <laughs> See, this is how you become a warrior. You eat somebody else's heart. Let's go. I might eat this whole thing for myself. Because, you know, fun fact, usually everything you eat, meat, that, that you buy is from the male, not from the female, because the female is very chewy. Usually they use the cows for, for breeding and for milk and for dairy product, and they use the males for their meat. 
Okay. So that's mm -hmm. why you have like either like big bull meat or you have veal, which is like a more, um, you know, like, uh, I forgot the word, but it's like, it's better. It's starting to taste the same now that I'm going up the ranks. So the heart a lot of has, has, the heart is a muscle yeah, yeah. and it tastes, um, it tastes a lot like, it tastes a lot like steak. Okay. Like this is the only organ that tastes like muscle meat. Like I want to say Not this bad. is what it would taste like if you're eating a raw steak right now. It was just tough because it's, you just keep chewing and chewing. It's like gum. It doesn't look like a nut. It doesn't, it doesn't. Okay. So like in my so head, I don't would have you, a Would you like to like literally bite through it or do you want me to, to like kind of bite through it? Pieces? Okay. I'm going straight barbarian in here. This is the membrane. You do not eat the membrane. You okay. eat the insides of the ball. Yes. This is like a mango. This is like a mango. Yeah. That's what he tells me. Dude. Holy shit. All right. So this is the membrane right here. It ends right yeah. there so I can just straight up chomp this. All right, so yeah. I'm about to eat bull, no, this is veal nuts. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a baby bull. Baby bull nuts, all right, here we go. I'm taking my mind to a safe place right now. Focus on the taste. The taste is not bad. I mean, <laughs> you, can do, you can do this, bro. You can, do, you can literally peel it okay. off. Dude, to be honest, it's not bad. It's not like eating it, it's not bad. Just the mental, it's all mental right now. It's all in your head. Because I know that I'm straight chewing if, and gushing a, a fucking testicle. If you get over the part that this is a testicle, <laughs> this is not bad. Here, uh, do you still have any part? Let me, uh, just, just put some uh, salt on it. I'm gonna like, finish this nut. Dip it. I'm gonna finish this nut. Dip it in I salt. I always get my nut. Dip it in salt. <laughs> <laughs> It tastes better once older. This is definitely the most interesting yet. The most tough on my mind. Bro, it's got like a, it's definitely got a distinct taste. It, the texture is exactly what I thought a nut would be. Pause. Not that I ever thought about eating nuts before. <laughs> like when it comes to, Obviously, me knowing there was that no was good way of saying that. <laughs> I knew that I was coming here to eat a testicle today, <laughs> and this is exactly what I expected, to be honest. I just Let's go, it. bro. <sighs> that is fucking savage, bro. That's this is this is what a fucking man does, bro. There Boy, you go. go. There you go. Here. Thank you, man. So, what oh do we God. have left? We got some brains and Ooh, bone marrow. I just left. ate a veal testicle. Is sitting in now. So the last because this is very uh, it's very heavy. Not backing this, out right now. No, no, you're not gonna back out, bro. This this doesn't taste bad at all, but this is very heavy. Okay. So oh. it, it it induces satiety right away. Hey yo, this is where this is where the real challenge starts, in my opinion. This is how you split somebody's brains in half. I remember doing this in high school. <laughs> this is straight science class dissection. Okay. So and this I'm is yours this time around. Thank you. This is yours. You know, bro. What do you? This is this is one of my favorite organs. Why? And it's it, the, the texture, the the whole thing. It's just it melts in your mouth. I love it. And actually, I would take brain overhead any day, bro. Drop a goddamn like because this is going crazy right now. I'm having straight up brain. Let me know in the comments what y'all think of this. Have you ever tried? Have anyone else ever done a carnivore diet before? Because I know the mon obviously the minority. Oh my god, he's gonna have me eat half this brain. Come on, bro. I'm ready. You want to see who finishes the first? No. I can't I can't hold that up. I can definitely finish this, but I'm not gonna speed right, through let's it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Cheers. To games. Mm-hmm. Go. See how the texture changes from the outside to the inside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Huh. It's so creamy on the inside. Interesting. Usually if you're eating something that's like Fatty, it's it, it might get a little uncomfortable if you don't salt it or yeah. or put sugar on it. Like it has to give you like you need this preference of either salt or sugar. Yeah. yeah. But if it's like neutral, you it might get make you a little uncomfortable. Yeah. To be honest, it was getting there. I'm not even gonna lie. Like the first bite, because I've already been trying everything else, it's starting to set in. But then when you when you add salt to it, it gets better, right? Yes. See, even when it's half frozen, it's like ice cream. Low key, it's like frozen yogurt. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. 
So as far as this right here, are we eating this as well? Yeah, we're eating the whole thing. Oh, fuck, fuck. Let's go. I'm not backing down. I'm gonna be a savage and finish this before him. Hmm? Say what? You bet. Dude, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally four seconds before I swallowed, pause. <laughs> Damn it, man. I was close. Bro, was we close, bro. it was a tie. Nice, man. It was a tie. That's some good brain right there. <laughs> okay. Try this one. Bone marrow. You wanna put some salt on it? Do I need to? Now I, I wanna try it by itself. It's like a potato. Wow, this is bone marrow, huh? But it's much more creamy. But the more you chew, the creamier it gets. Yeah. That's weird. That's this, dope. This is straight up fat, just fat. This is just fat. All right, honey. Let's see. I'm a big fan of honey. Oh, honey is definitely the, the move, bro. That's the wave right there. It's good, right? Bone marrow and honey. Bro, it'd be getting stuck behind your teeth. It's yeah. like a Laffy Taffy-ish. Like once, once it melts, yeah, it's like that. Or like now and later is how it sticks to your teeth. Honey is definitely better. Honey is definitely see. better. Have you you know, tried it? I've never tried it with honey, ever. I usually just eat it straight up because I'm 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 always low on sugar. Bro, okay. that's so crazy. I keep my sugar very low. Oh shit. Oh fire. shit. <laughs> Yo guys, this is fire. You got some bone marrow, you got some raw honey. You're gonna thank me later. Oh my god. That's good. I might yo, can, can you have some more with the honey? Yes. Dude, it's it's like sticking to the top of my mouth and it's giving like a glaze. Are you gonna take it straight out the egg? Straight out the shell? <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Alright, one, two. Boom. Alright, so I'm about to jump in a freaking pool full of ice. I've never done this before. Um, yeah, this is like he just emptied what, two or three bags of ice in here? Three bags. Three bags. Three 20 pound bags, so. Alright, let's do this. I was just like, I'm, I'm straight full send mode right now. I'm not about to. You're at one minute and 53 seconds. I'm staying in for a total of five. There yeah. you go, fucking beast. Five Let's minutes go. solid, I think that would be good. And uh, yeah, dude, I know I'm gonna hop out of here. The veins gonna be busting out the, the fucking skin. I can already tell. Ooh. Okay, when you're done, before you wanna get out, you're gonna dip your head in. Oh my, oh my god, god, I swear to god. Josh, you dip your head in, you hold your breath for as long as you can take it, oh. and then you get up. Oh! Oh, fuck it, dude. You're a beast, bro. <laughs> fuck. You're built up. Built, bro. I'm fucking built. <laughs> dude, you know what's funny? I was uh, I was on the powerlifting team in high school, and my coach would always preach to us that we should do this. I never once did it. I would take the cold showers, like I said, but this uh, is obviously what he was talking about before. And, I've only seen videos of people doing this, C-Bum. Um, a lot of other guys, this is the first time for me. Uh, I definitely could pull it four times a week like you, but this is this is next level determination right here. Man, this is this is really beneficial for you. It, and it's good before and after the workout. Before the workout, because now your muscles have an insane amount of blood, because this increases your blood circulation a lot. Because now, how, why does it do that? Because now your limbs, usually if you're, if you're out in the cold, what, does, what gets colder qu the quickest? Your hands, yes. your feet, yes. your nose, 
so those like your extremities because they get the least blood so when you put yourself in this situation now it increases the blood because your body want to want to keep itself warm so now you're getting the most blood to your uh, to your extremities and then after it uh, it's really good because submerging in water regardless of the temperature it uh, Put, it pulls pressure from the outside all the way to the inside of your body and then it helps with muscle recovery. Right. It's okay. called it's called hydrostatic pressure. Okay. We're about five minutes in, huh? Yes sir, we are about five minutes in. Okay. Now, dip your put your head down. Oh, let's give him the last one. Oh! 